Hey guys, it's Camille Lambert, field agronomist for Kentucky and Southwest Indiana. We are finally getting started with planting. It felt like it was never going to get here. But as you guys are getting started, I just wanted to give you guys a couple reminders on seeding um, depth. So it's really important that you get out and check every single row as you are setting your planter. So things may have shifted or changed from last season to this season. Every field is going to be a little bit different as far as plantability um, and soil conditions. So it's really important to get out there and check. Um, so a couple tools I like to have whenever I am out checking for depth and population. I like to carry two of these diggers around, um, especially the ones that have the measurement on them. It can be really helpful when you're out digging looking for seed. So the first thing I like to do um, is to check for depth. The second thing is going to be population. You can quickly do um, a count in between seeds on how many inches are between each seed to make sure your population that you're seeing in the cab is equating to the same planted population in the field. So I'm going to show you guys that. Okay, so once you get out digging, you want to find the trench um, that the seed was placed in where the closing wheels closed and very carefully start to pull the soil away. So you want to do this carefully so you don't move the seed because it can be pretty easy to kind of kick that seed out and then you're not really sure how deep the seed was actually planted. So I'm going to start digging till you find it. Uh, so for corn, we have PFR proven uh, two inch depth. Oh, I just kicked that one out. So I'm going to go to the next one. It can be a little tricky to make sure your depth is right. So you always want to make sure you're planting into the moisture. A two inch depth gives us pretty good consistent moisture, um, but it also helps for our nodal root set. Uh, your nodal roots are going to be important for a lot of the water and nutrient uptake for that corn plant's life. So it's important to get them set at the right depth. Now, once you start to find your seed, there it is right there. You wanna make sure you don't kick it out. So that's where it is. I like to take one tool and lay it across. So that's representative of the top of the soil surface. And then take the next one and place it to the bottom of the seed because that is where your trench actually was. So this is planted about two inches and a quarter deep. We've got really good conditions coming up, so not worried about the planting depth here. It looks really good. Um, but the next thing that we wanna look at is the, the spacing between the seeds. So what I typically do when I am checking between um, seeds for spacing is I dig them up and set them right out to the side. So I wanna see the distance in between the seeds and make sure we're getting accurate spacing so that we can set ourselves up for a really good growing season. Um, so for 33,000, we're looking at 6.3 ish inches. So this is a little more than that here. This is pretty close to being on. This one's just about right. Um, but I'm going to do that for every single row to be sure that we're planting and that we're getting good spacing, um, because that can lead to, um, yield reductions or increases, making sure we get our spacing right. So I've shared a little bit with you guys about corn planting depth. We also want to make sure we check our soybean planting depth. PFR data shows that an inch and a half is ideal. And that has a lot to do with nodules. So nodules perform optimally at about 72 degrees. The shallower you plant your seed, the hotter that soil temperature is going to reach as we get through the summer months. So be sure to check your corn and your soybean planting depth as you guys are getting your planters started. Make sure to check every row and have a great season. If you have any questions, please reach out to your local BEX representative. Thanks.